Hi, parents and caregivers. It's Miss Young. Uh, I wanted to check in with you uh, about something that I've been thinking a lot about, um, especially in conversations with my friends and family members that are teaching kids from home right now. Um, I've heard a lot of statements saying, you know, these kids, they need to be back at school with their teachers. And the unfortunate reality is that can't happen right now. Um, a lot of people have said, I'm not a teacher, like I can't do this, but think about all those unique um, pieces of wisdom and expertise that you have that maybe I don't have or another teacher doesn't have um, that your student is getting because they're spending all of this time with you. And that's what we call funds of knowledge. Think about your household. The group of you all collectively hold this body of knowledge that each of you has individually garnered from years of life experience and then shared with each other. Okay, so let's talk funds of knowledge. What does that mean? I think it can be broken down into a lot of different categories. And if you look it up, um, you'll find these same categories. So starting with your family's home language, that's the first category. Moving on to your family values and traditions, things you celebrate, um, things you do every single year. I know every single fall I get all jazzed and I put out pumpkins and mums. Like that's a family tradition that I continue. Um, Caregiving is another category. So like for instance, how do you swaddle a baby in your um, family? Or when I had Nora, I would call my mom and say, when is the right time to give medicine? Or when should I give her a bottle for the first time? Things like that. Um, that's knowledge my mom passed down to me. Then there's another category, friends and family. So what do your visits look like? What do you do when you're with your friends and family? Do you go to barbecues? Do you play sports? Those kinds of things. What do you do when you're out with your family on a family outing? Do you all like to go shopping? Do you like to go to the lake? Um, what kinds of things do you do? Household chores. I think this is an interesting um, category because you learn a lot from your family members on how to care for your house. So I know um, how to use, you know, vinegar to clean things. And I learned that from my mom and grandmother. Um, educational activities. This is another fund of knowledge. Like, do you go to the museums? Do you go for, um, a hike in Frick Park. Where are you learning things as a family? And then even favorite TV shows. I know during Corona, um, we've had a lot of favorite family TV shows that have really been um, bleeding their way into our lives. And then family occupations. This one is an awesome fund of knowledge because we all have such different backgrounds and occupations. I before I was a teacher, I've worked in restaurants. I worked at Subway. You know, I was an ice cream store employee. Um, my Subway job, I still make hoagies in that way. Um, I know how to ask, you know, first, do you want bread? Second, what kind of cheese and meat? You know, those kinds of things I always bring um, to home to my family. And then finally, this idea of um, scientific knowledge. So, this is very broad. It could be like, how do you get exercise as a family? Um, do you recycle? Um, overall health concerns, vitamins, these kinds of things. That's all something that you are taking from your family members. There are additional funds of knowledge. For instance, your family might run a store. So you might know all the inner workings of that. Um, you might know about um, finance, trade, mechanics, carpentry, all these things that you're doing at your house. Check in with your student and talk about some funds of knowledge that your family shares. So some categories that we have are food, games, traditions, language, music, and other funds of knowledge. If you could identify one and post it on Padlet, that would be awesome. We can't wait to see the things that your family has to offer to each of your students.